What's up guys, today we want to swim in this beautiful water, as you see the water is beautiful, as good to swim, oh my god, it should be look like this, this is after I fixed the water, and now it look beautiful, and you can enjoy the water, also, as you know, we do Airbnb in this property, so we design the area, if you like to know how to fix your home and do the Airbnb, just consider to subscribe. So first, what's happened, the pump was bad, the motor, and we have to replace the pump. So it took two, three days, and that's happened. So now we're going to fix it. We're going to fill up the water until the skimmer gets full and put the system on service and turn off the pool. Uh, I'm sorry, turn on the pool and turn on the filter. So the pump start working. Make sure pressure it doesn't pass that red uh, arrow. So I released the air in the system but, uh, by opening that and, and the water is good in the system. The jacuzzi also it gets filled so you have to raise it up. So this is the shock I bought it in the Costco so it's good for everything. But you can buy in the different location, different area. So I put the link in the description if you want to purchase it. Uh, so you pour the shock in your pool. And you just wait so for a couple hours, and you have to do this couple times. You, you know, you I put as you see, I put it everywhere. So after a couple hours, you come back, and I, I'm gonna add one more bag, okay? And let it be until two, three more hours, and one add, add one more bag. So you have to start brushing the surface and the wall of your um, pool so to remove all the allergy from the surface and let the getting filter in the system and uh, you can collect everything on the filter and you have to clean the filter uh, every six seven hours until you know it get better as you see after a couple hours you see the white spot is getting started so now the water is more clear so I'm gonna add more and keep doing that so that this is the day after that and uh, after one day you see the water is getting clear uh, but you have a couple of spots that still need to be worked so I'm gonna add more and I have to clean that so to clean that you have to turn off the power turn all the power make sure you don't have power because some of them they have a timer and you're working is going to come out. So make sure you don't have power. So release the air from here and your tank sh should be good to go. Make sure the actuator or the jandy valve is on the off position so the water cannot come back. So we're going to open this. So mine was already open and loose. I don't know how I stayed there but you take that part off and the this clamps this big clamps is gonna um, be loose and then use the hammer and or the ply bar to uh, take it off so i don't have a rubber hammer that's my bad but i use the something to protect that and i use the regular hammer after i take the clamps off so you just have to take the cap off and this is the dirty filter, dirty, dirty filter. You see all the debris. So you have to clean all this and uh, clean the filter with the pressure washer. And uh, this is the pressure washer. Is a, You know, you don't even use the pressure washer. You have to buy that part, the orange part I show you, to clean those. So this, they sell that in the, you know, pool supply. Or I, I put the link in the description. You can purchase it. So I'm going to start cleaning that. So bottom should be in the bottom, not in the top. So they put this backward. So I'm going to fix that and next time I put in the bottom. So to clean that, this is the tools I'm using. So I'm going to put that in the description if you want to purchase it. So you're just going easy on it and uh, clean all the allergy and, and the four filter we have. So make sure you're going step by step and don't leave any allergy on it because you want to get rid of the allergy okay after that we're gonna uh, clean the tank so you see the tank is full of dirt so there is a cap 
on the bottom you take that cap off and release all the water dirty water and then wash the inside there you go it's very clean now make sure you don't lose that gasket so when you take it off so so I'm gonna put everything back in the place I put the cap and uh, I put everything back so take a picture before you take everything off and just compare everything uh, when you put it back so because these clamps you don't want to over tight it or you don't want to make it loose so the gap it should be the same that's why I'm saying take a picture before you start working so I'm going to turn on the pump but before doing that put the water in the tank too so as you see I turn it on but I didn't put the water but you can put a little water at, at least half a tank full so to make it uh, start faster make sure your arrow is between the green and red so now the water start working again and it's gonna be look like this in a few days just I'm adding the more shock in the system and doing that process again just clean the wall clean the surface uh, and clean the filter again and I did that for two three days and the water is clear so it's ready to go so I have a video if you want to how to adjust the chemical on the water I'm gonna put that in the description also you can check that check that out so uh, make sure to subscribe the channel is totally free I will teach you how to fix your home without paying anyone as you know we do Airbnb and those uh, home we just remodel so if you want to learn how to remodel your home and put it in the Airbnb uh, consider to subscribe so uh, see you guys next time have a great day